Now, if you're like me and you have to adjust all your windows, I had to adjust front and back on both sides. And if you're like me and you have to adjust all your windows, start with the front windows first. That's exactly where you want to start because the front windows have to have a good seal. The, the rear windows, there's a little bit more play. There's less uh, positions of adjustment. So the, the front windows, you have to get them uh, exactly fit right because there's more surface area involved. So your main goals when adjusting the windows and getting a proper fit on the window seals is obviously you want it sealed uh, completely from wind and rain. You don't want to be driving and hearing the wind whistling through your windows and you don't want to be driving in the rain or even if you have your car parked outside and it starts raining for water to get in. So that's your main goal when sealing it up. But the problem is that you also have to make sure that opening and closing the door can be done without an issue. You don't want to have to throw the door in to get a, a proper fit. So when you're lining the windows, you have to remember there's three directions that you can go. You have up and down, you have side to side, and then you have in and out. Now I'm using all aftermarket parts. Uh, these window felts, the window seals, and the weather stripping. Uh, this isn't, this is original, but pretty much everything that I have on there is aftermarket. So I did have to uh, do certain things to make sure it's aligned right and positioned right, but you can get it done. You don't need to have original parts to get it uh, exactly fit right. And here you get an idea of what it's supposed to look like. I already finished this side. I'm actually gonna be start working on the other side, but here you get a nice seal all the way through and it closes up nice. And then here even, you wanna make sure that here it's sealed up when you close the door and also it's sealed up when you roll down only this window, the rear window, and you roll it back up. You wanna make sure that when it rolls back up, it seals in perfectly. And same thing when you close this window and open it up because you wanna make sure that in any type of scenario, it's gonna seal up, that you're not gonna have any adjustments down the road once you put the panels in. And what I do and what a lot of car builders do is what they'll do is they'll start with this front window and they'll make sure that it's lined up uh, with the pillar and with the roof rail. And that's kind of how you can start from there. So that's the first step is making sure that's lined up. Now, before you even start, you want to definitely make sure that you have these window felts installed because there's just absolutely no way that you can position it properly uh, without having uh, the, the felts installed and knowing how far out to push the window so where you get a nice proper and watertight seal right there because you definitely don't want it to be loose because you're going to get water in there and you don't want it too tight because then you're going to have problems rolling it up and coming down so when you're positioning it make sure make sure that you have the felts installed and like i said these are aftermarket so um that shouldn't be a problem if that's what you're also using now the one thing that you are going to need on this project is patience you want to make sure that you do everything right and you double check, triple check all your adjustments, make sure everything's sealed because once you put the door panels in, you should uh, put them in knowing that you're not gonna be taking them off anytime soon. So you wanna make sure that all the glass is installed properly and adjusted properly. Now it really doesn't matter what grease you use. Some people will tell you to use uh, lithium grease. Some people will tell you to use uh, a grease that you find an auto parts store. Uh, there's different types of grease, but really the main thing is that you put something you don't want uh, bare metal rubbing up against nylon and you don't want it down the road to cause you problems So put something put something that will give you peace of mind something that you know is gonna last a while and Something that you're gonna make sure that everything's functioning properly. Everything's functioning smoothly So when you adjust it you want to go through every scenario you want to do uh, Front window down back window up back window down front window up. You want to open and close the door uh, You want to open and close the door with the windows down windows up you want to be able to check all the gaps on the top and sides. You wanna make sure that there's no snags. You wanna make sure that the window goes up uh, properly without catching on anything. You wanna make sure that the rear window, same thing. Uh, when you close the rear window, you wanna make sure that it seals properly. So everything you have to double check and triple check. So like I said, we're gonna be starting on the front window. This needs to be adjusted. Now, I rolled it down a little bit so we can see the gaps. I'm gonna see where it needs to be uh, adjusted properly. So you can see the gap here is not lined exactly uh, parallel. And you want it to be as close as parallel as you can possibly get. 
Now here you can see a small gap and it kind of widens up when it finally gets to here. And same thing with the roof uh, line, you can kind of see it like flare out a little bit. So it'll start off slow here and open up. Now the other thing that I'm seeing too is that when I open and close it, you can feel the window kind of pushing up against it. So you want to make sure we're going to adjust those three things uh, right now. Now all the nuts and bolts that you're going to be adjusting are all 7 16 unless it's changed, unless uh, you got something different or somebody already you know, worked on it and put something different. They all are going to be 7 16 So I recommend you having a uh, wrench, a 7 16 uh, some sockets, uh, deep sockets and regular sockets that are 7 16 That way you can just uh, adjust on the fly because some, some like you can see like from this bolt right here, it, it requires a deep socket and then some of them you're going to need an extension to get to. You have two adjustment points right here on the window on the front and right here in the window in the back and these are stops that prevent the window from going too far up if you're rolling it up the stop on the back is angled has a point to it and once it reaches inside this groove as you can see right here and it's got covered with rubber but that's where it'll stop now the one in the front is curved and almost flat but it has a slight curve to it and once that hits the very very ridge of the door that's where it'll stop too so these are very basic it's pretty much just knowing where uh, you want it to stop and the last thing with these guys the one that are on top they're not supposed to be a lot of pressure pushing up against the window yes you want uh, the window to be pushing up against the window felt and that's what these guides are for you want the window to be buttoned up against the window felt to make sure it's sealed but you want to make sure that you can get as much of a good angle from from this uh, area from the middle then up here because if you over pressure these and over tighten these and push these really really uh, far up against the window you're gonna end up scratching the window you're gonna end up causing problems with the window going up and down and so it's all supposed to work together so don't just uh, focus on on one uh, point you want to make sure it all comes together perfectly down here you have window stops to prevent the window from going too far down once you're rolling it down and those are very basic they either go only up or down and i'm going to actually take them out so you guys can see them sometimes people do them right away and adjust them right away i always either way like to do a final uh, adjustment on these right before i move on to the rear window just to make sure that uh, everything is good and either way you, again you want to double check but double check and triple check and check everything um, to make sure all the adjustments are final and then tighten everything down either way. So this is the one that goes closest to the front and this is one that closest to the back and it's pretty easy to install because they have these little tabs and it's just one uh, bolt going through. Now right here on the window hardware on the center is where you'll find the rest of the adjustment points. And this is where you'll really want to start if, especially if you have um, a lot of misalignment you're going to want to start at these three bolts or nuts right here there's one on the inside if you can see it and those you can get a lot of flexibility a lot of movement from them by loosening them up you can shift it forward you can shift it backwards you can really adjust a lot of the angles just on those three adjustment points alone and the last adjustment points that i'll show you that i don't really like to mess with because it affects the how the door goes up and down because it's actually on the sliding mechanism but this is where the, the door will actually slide up and down. This is the guide, this is the rail. Now here, there are two bolts right here that you can really change a lot of the angle uh, of the window just by adjusting those two alone. You can really bring it in and push it out uh, depending on what your window needs. So any adjustments that you make on these two bolts, you really have to double check that the angles are fine and then roll it up and roll it down to make sure that it slides up and down properly. Any adjustments that you make here are really gonna affect that, and you might even have to adjust these two bolts up here on the, on the upper portion of the sliding mechanism to make sure that everything works properly. Now these two adjustment points, you can really get a lot of the change of the angle on it. As you can see, I loosened them up, and I'll be moving. You can see how I can really move it around. You just have to be very, very careful because remember this mechanism, is gonna be going up and down with a rail. And if there's a slight change of the angle and it it, um, it causes like a misalignment, then you're gonna have problems going up and down uh, when you roll down your windows. 
Now, where I'm, I know I have to adjust it is going uh, to where when I close the door, it doesn't hit the seal right away. So I'm gonna have to push uh, the window uh, angled out a little bit. Now, the points of adjustment for that is you have uh, here and over here, you have the window fuzzy stop. The other point uh, is actually on the hardware that's attached to the glass. And it's right here, you have two uh, bolts that, again, if you loosen them, then you'll be able to adjust the bracket uh, to where it's you either bring it in or bring it out. Now in this case, I already have the stops uh, pretty far deep, so I don't want it to be, you know, pushing really, really far up against the window because I don't want it to scratch and I don't want any problems with the window going up and down. So I'm going to be trying to adjust here first so that we, from there we can see uh, where, where else we needed to adjust it and if that's even the right spot. As you can tell, I already misaligned the window. It used to be right up against the seal and now it's practically almost touching this chrome piece right here. But I can feel that the window was definitely pushed out more and it'll have less problems when I finally close the door. So I'm on the right track, but you have to realize that there's actions and reactions. You adjust something somewhere, it's gonna move something somewhere else. So just be patient and just keep working at it. So we're gonna try to rotate the window but just remember, we're trying to close this gap up here. So we want to pretty much rotate the window like that. Now in doing so, this part is going to come this way and this part is going to come that way. So the movement's going to be ever so slight because again, we try to just push it all the way through. Now it may be too far in on this side. So we just want to be very patient and make sure that we know how the movement should be and how the position should be before we just start loosening uh, the bolts and just start moving the glass everywhere. So I'm sorry for all the noise that's going on. I got all my neighbors doing their yard work. It's probably what I should be doing, but I'm working on the car. More important stuff. As you can see, the adjustment that I finally made uh, there helped out a lot. Now it's not even close to touching the chrome, but we still got a ways to go because that's not going to be good enough. Uh, it's still got it's still not parallel exactly. You can see where it kind of goes up right there. There's still a gap, and then even here you have tiny little bit of gap and it's flaring open right here so uh, it's a lot better but like I said you got to be patient and we got to keep working at it so I rolled up the window and I noticed that I'm lined up pretty well now there's still maybe some little things that I can tweak if I want to make it better but I'm very very satisfied with it so far and uh, we pretty much eliminated all the problems that we were trying to eliminate which is making sure this was nice and parallel on the roof and then the pillar the same way and make sure it's nice and sealed now i recommend you also looking at it from the inside out to make sure that there's no gaps now i am getting a gap right here but that is not something that i'm too too worried about i'm getting a good seal right here at the bottom and right here i'm getting a gap because remember the rear window we adjust it uh, to match or to seal well with the front window we don't adjust the front window for the rear we adjust the rear window for the for the front window so now we're moving on to the rear window. Um, thankfully, my rear window doesn't have a lot of adjustments to be made. Uh, you guys saw the gap between the rear window and the front window, so I'm gonna try to tighten that up. And then the roof line, I uh, don't didn't see a lot of issues, but I'm gonna make sure that's good. And also I'm gonna be putting it up and down to make sure uh, that it's, it's sealing up against the felts and everything's good there. So the rear window is very similar to the front window. You have the same basic idea. You have three directions. You have up and down, in and out, and then side to side. 
Now in, in my particular case, I have to uh, make sure that the window goes a little bit more that way so I can seal up better with the, with the front window. And then I'm gonna make sure, I'm gonna put the window up and down to make sure that the angle in and out is not um, uh, snagging or it's not really, really tight with the felts and make sure it is sealing up because you don't want it to be loose either. And then I'm gonna look at the, the roof rail just to make sure that it lines up with the weather streeping and it's gonna seal once it's going all the way up. So right here are the two guides that you'll need to adjust uh, for the height of where you want it to stop when it goes up. And here's the other one is where you want to stop when it goes down. So those are pretty much the easiest to understand because it's either just up or down. So there's no angles involved. It either reaches its limit or it doesn't. So I usually keep them loose. That way when I need to adjust it, at least I can easily maneuver it. Uh, and you want to get into that practice because you don't want to tighten everything down until you know for a fact everything is, is functioning exactly uh, together properly and all the angles and all the, the seals are exactly where you want them and, and you're, you're totally happy with the way it's, it's all working together, the way it goes up and down and the way it's sealing all together. So at the bottom of the window hardware, you'll find uh, two more adjustment points. You have one on the outside and one on the inside. They're pretty much on the same joint, but the one on the inside it determines uh, the angle of the window, how close it is to the, the roof weather stripping or how far it is. So if you have that edge that you're trying to either um, seal up closer to the, to the weather stripping or get it farther away uh, because it's not closing right, then that's where you'll have to adjust it because it'll, you see here, it'll when I push it um, this direction, it'll get closer to the weather stripping on the top. When I push it this direction, it'll it'll like push it back to where it's it's farther away so you'll you'll figure it out now this adjuster that's on the on the back this as you can see it can either slide uh, forward or backwards and this will determine the angle of this edge right here and whether it's pointed this way or it goes more this way and I'm exaggerating it just to show you the illustration it's not gonna do that much of a difference but you'll see uh, in my case where I need to fix or get this closer to uh, the front window, that'll be one of the adjustment points that I really have to focus on. Uh, and then when I double check the weather stripping uh, edge up here, uh, if it's too far or too close, then it'll be this adjustment point too that I'll have to work with. So the last adjustment points I wanna show you are right here on the inside of the window hardware. You'll see two bolts. And I rolled the window down and I took off the roller just so you could see it better. But these two points is where you're going to really get a lot of adjustment and positioning for moving and angling the window to be exactly right. Now, if your window is really, really off, this is probably where you need to start. Thankfully, my window is not um, too far off. So the position on your window is really off. I would start in this adjustment points and you're really going to get a lot of uh, angling and positioning from these two points. And if you loosen them up, you'll, you'll feel it right away. The window will start, uh, you'll get a lot of flexibility right there. Now, thankfully, I don't think I have to do that. If I do, um, it'll be minimal adjustments there, but I'm gonna start off with this adju adjustment point down here. And hopefully I can I can get it to where I, it's, it's lined up perfectly with the front window and it seals up nice. And then from there, if I can't get it, then I'm gonna move on. But it's really just these two adjustment points that I have to focus on and I should be good. Got it positioned well enough to where if uh, both the windows are all the way to the top and I close the door, it seals up really well. But the problem that I'm having now is if I roll up the rear window and the front window is closed, uh, if, if, if it'll seal properly. Now, unfortunately it's not. I'm have, what happens is it butts up and you'll see that it stops. It doesn't want to go any further. I can force it, but I don't want to force it. I want it to be 
a nice seal. So I have two directions I can go. I can push the, or not push it, but I can position the front window to where it gives a little bit more gap, because right here it looks pretty good, and it's just this part up here. Or I can position the rear window to where it comes back a little bit, but I don't want to do that because it's already in a really good spot for the, for the weather stripping. So I'm gonna have to probably come back to the front window. So I think I got it. I adjusted it to where it can clear it and it, and it was able to uh, easily uh, seal once it's closed. Now, what I did was I adjusted the adjustment point here, the one that's on the inside at the bottom. I was able to angle the rear window uh, to where the top edge, I brought it in a little bit so it can clear the front window. And uh, I was concerned mostly with the weather stripping at the top. I wanted to make sure that it's still sealed up on the top edge and it does. So I just need a little bit of clearance right here. And thankfully that solved it. So that way if the kids are in the back seat, they roll the window down because you know, they have nothing else to do in the back seat or they see someone they know or you know, it gets, it gets hot back here or whatever. And I tell them to clo close it, I yell at them, say, hey, close it. They can easily roll it back up and it seals up. And that's exactly where you want it to be. So you wanna make sure that here on the U door jam that it doesn't get caught on the window or the chrome molding or the weather stripping. It happened to me to where I rolled it down. As soon as I started rolling down, it pulled off the chrome molding and I had to replace it. Um, so it, it, it's, it's something to consider. Make sure it clears, make sure it doesn't snag. Make sure you have a nice seal right there. So if you're installing new glass, you're probably gonna have to make more adjustments than I did. I just wanted to give you a brief overview of the process and hopefully it can help you out. Uh, if you're in the same situation, just give you an idea of the process and the steps that you'll need uh, to get there to where you can actually have it positioned well and everything sealed up right. So there you have it. That's how you adjust the window glass on the 1970 Chevy Chevelle. I just wanted to give a brief summary and an overview of how it's done in the process to where it's done in all the adjustment points and how it should be positioned. And it's really just about being patient and being diligent and going over every scenario and just working at it and making sure you follow the process right. Now there's a lot of details that I didn't cover. There's a lot of stuff off camera that I, that I don't show. If I showed everything, it would be a long video, but I just wanted to cover the most necessary details and the basics. So hopefully that's helpful and hopefully you understand the process of doing it and your process will be different, your situation will be different, but it's just knowing all the adjustment points and knowing the right position. So for my next video, I'm gonna be installing the windshield molding on the car. And it's just the next thing that I plan on doing. I'm just recording projects as I go. It just happens to be the next thing. So it'll probably be a very basic video because it's, it's, it's a very basic installation. Hopefully this video helps someone, especially if you're in the same situation as I am. I'm just trying to get this car on the road soon, recording projects as I go. If you like this video, hit like and subscribe. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.